to the Prayer Motivator devotional broadcast with Daniel White III. We are glad that you have joined us as Daniel White III encourages us to pray without ceasing throughout the day, every day, for the glory of God. Welcome to another Prayer Motivator devotional broadcast. Broadcast number 201. As always, it is great to be with you today to encourage you to pray. Today, I would like to begin by sharing with you a poem titled, Lord of the Sabbath, Hear Us Pray, by Philip Dottage. Lord of the Sabbath, hear us pray. In this your house, on this your day, and own as grateful sacrifice the songs which from your temple rise. Now met to pray and bless your name, whose mercies flow each day the same, whose kind compassions never cease, we seek instruction, pardon, and peace. Your earthly Sabbaths, Lord, we love, but there's a nobler rest above, to that our laboring souls aspire with ardent hope and strong desire. In your blessed kingdom we shall be from every mortal trouble free. No sighs shall mingle with the songs resounding from immortal tongues. No rude alarms of raging foes no cares to break the long repose, no midnight shade, no waning moon, but sacred high eternal noon. O long expected day, begin, dawn on these realms of woe and sin, break morn of God upon our eyes, and let the world's true sun arise. Our prayer motivator verse from the powerful word of God today is Luke 21, 36, which reads, Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass, and to stand before the Son of Man. <clears throat> Our prayer motivator quote today is from E.M. Bounds. He said, The little estimate we put on prayer is evident from the little time we give to prayer. Our prayer motivator devotional today is part two of our series titled, Share Everything in Your Heart with the Lord. Since I have learned, and Dr. John R. Rice went on to say, the blessed secret of opening my heart to God, it has done wonders for my own inner life. I have found that I ought to, and that I may, freely take every desire of my heart to God. He wants me to pray about literally everything. That means that I open every closet door, and He knows it anyway. So why should I hide it? And if God loves me more than a father loves his child, why should I not tell him about anything I want, anything I need? And even if I have a want, 
a desire that is not according to his will. Should I not tell him about it? Should I not ask him to reconcile my desires with his will? I have resolved before God that I will never want things that I cannot talk to God about. And when I take the things to him, he cures the desires that are evil by helping me to confess them. And he also gives me a blessed confidence that I have a right to ask of my Heavenly Father for anything in the world that I want. O oh, Christian, do not shut God out of a single corner of your life, of your heart. Tell him everything. Ask him for literally anything your heart desires. The presumption is that God wants you to have everything you desire, unless it would do you harm or dishonor him, God would certainly want you to have your heart's desire. So pray for everything you want. Meet God's conditions and get it. Or if you take a matter to God and he shows you uh, he does not want you to give it uh, to you, he does not want to give it to you rather, then ask him to take that hurtful desire out of your heart, of which he does not approve, out of your heart completely. He will do it. Ask him for anything you want or stop wanting it. That's the way to go. Now, dear friend, it is time for us to pray here on our 201st broadcast. It's time for us to pray together as we have done 200 times in the past. I want to thank the Lord for what he has done and what he's doing and for literally thousands joining with me, people that I will never meet on this side, but look forward to seeing on the other side. Let's pray together. Please remember the announcer will provide the information for you to send in your prayer request at the end of this broadcast. Holy Father God, we praise you and thank you for giving us the privilege of free and open prayer to you, giving us the joy of being able to ask for whatever we need and the good things that we desire. Lord, grant us your grace and the power of your Holy Spirit to do that. I pray that you'll give uh, that kind of faith to the people listening today so that they can feel the freedom and know the freedom of asking for anything. Lord, you know I've, I have asked you for many things down through the years and you have given many things to me. And so I know that this is true. And the things that would seem small to others uh, but was big to me. And so, Lord, I pray that you would give every soul listening today that joy. Lord, we also pray for all pastors and all evangelists and church members and missionaries and ministries around the world. Lord, we pray that you would strengthen them, fill them with your Holy Spirit, help them to turn to you in prayer. And Lord, use them for your glory. And we pray millions of souls will come to know your Savior locally, everywhere around the world, through the local church. And Holy Father God, and, and otherwise as well. And Holy Father God, we pray for the president and all governmental officials, 
be they black or white, red or yellow, uh, wherever they might be in this country or in the world. Save them all, bless them all, lead them all, guide them and direct them in the way that you would have them to go. And Holy Father God, we pray for three people off of our prayer list. We pray, Lord, that you would truly uh, meet their needs today. We pray for Elizabeth, give her children work. We pray for Sylvia in Victorville, California. Give her a job and meet all of her needs. Help her in paying her bills. Lord, we pray for Solomon in Kenya. Help families there to get houses to live in. Bless them with Bibles and books for the pastors and have many new churches to be planted. Give them the money to buy land and equipment. Holy Father God, we pray for the following people who have accepted you into their hearts. We pray, Lord, that you would confirm them in the faith and have them to grow in the faith to become the spirit-filled Christians and the strong Christians that you want them to be. We pray specifically for Alexandra in Costa Rica, Christopher in Indonesia, and Manoj in Mirut, India. Now, Lord, we pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for the following people who have been born again recently, who have been saved recently, who have come to you uh, and trusted you as their Savior. And, uh, Lord, we uh, pray for these also uh, that um, uh, since they have been saved uh, for a while, now they're coming to you uh, for rededication as well. I think my producer skipped a section here. Let's see. Uh, yeah, we did this. Okay. Uh, and uh, Lord, we pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for these who have rededicated their lives and uh, uh, after being saved for a while. We pray, Lord, for Ilholm in St. Petersburg, Russia, and we pray for Daphne, and we pray and include in this prayer Angie in Nairobi, Kenya. Lord, we pray that you would strengthen these in the faith and help them to keep their commitments to you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and for his sake, amen. Now, dear friend, if you are listening to this broadcast, wherever you are in the world, and you have not accepted Jesus Christ as your Savior, please notice these verses. The Bible says in Romans 10, 9 and 13, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Now, a friend of mine, if you are willing to trust Jesus Christ as your Savior today, please pray with me the following prayer. Heavenly Father, I realize that I am a sinner. I've done bad things in my life. For Jesus Christ's sake, please forgive me of my sins. I now believe with all of my heart that Jesus Christ died for me, was buried and rose again. Lord Jesus, please come into my soul, come into my heart, into my spirit, and save my soul in life today, and change me forever. Amen. Dear friend, if you have accepted Jesus Christ into your heart as your Lord and Savior, please contact us today so that we can send you a free copy of our pamphlet titled, What to Do After You Enter Through the Door. This will help you to get started in your Christian life. Until then, remember, dear friend, pray, think, do. God bless you.